Greetings defense enthusiasts and geopolitics aficionados. Welcome to your daily defense and geopolitics updates. We're here to keep you informed and enlightened about the pulse of the defense world and its strategic implications. Whether you're a seasoned follower or a curious newcomer, we're thrilled to have you with us. Today we delve into the enhanced capability of the US Navy's Growlers and Super Hornets. Buckle up for an informative ride. As you might know, the EA-18G Growler and the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet are key players in the US Navy's arsenal. These aircraft are not just mere machines, they are the embodiment of superior technological prowess and strategic foresight. The Growler, an electronic warfare aircraft and the Super Hornet, a multi-role fighter, are both instrumental in maintaining the Navy's edge in air dominance. Now, let's talk about the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile. This is not your ordinary missile, it's a short-range air-to-air missile that boasts advanced infrared tracking short-range air-to-air and surface-to-air capabilities. It's designed to be highly maneuverable and lethal against enemy aircraft, making it a vital component in air combat. So, what happens when you integrate the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile with the EA-18G Growler and the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet? you get a formidable combination that significantly enhances the self-defense capabilities of these aircraft. This recent integration was not a random decision, it was a strategic move made in response to escalating threats posed by Iranian-backed Houthi militants launching drones and missiles at US and foreign vessels in the Red Sea region. By allowing the Growlers and Super Hornets to carry additional AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles, the US Navy has effectively increased the missile capacity of these aircraft. This provides more firepower, thus enhancing their defensive options against various drone and missile threats. But it's not just about the current crisis. This decision also anticipates future conflicts, ensuring these aircraft remain suited to tackle a wide range of missions and threats. In essence, the integration of AIM-9X on Growlers and Super Hornets is about staying one step ahead. It's about ensuring that the US Navy continues to maintain its edge in a rapidly evolving battlefield. This strategic move increases the missile capacity of these aircrafts, providing the Navy with more firepower and defensive options. But what does this integration mean for the US Navy and its operations? Let's delve into that. The integration of the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile onto the EA-18G Growler and F-A-18E-F Super Hornet aircraft significantly bolsters the U.S. Navy's operational capabilities. The AIM-9X is not just another missile, it's a highly advanced, infrared-tracking, short-range air-to-air and surface-to-air missile that provides the Navy with a potent edge in any aerial engagement. By allowing these aircraft to carry additional AIM-9X missiles, the Navy is effectively enhancing their firepower. This increased firepower means that these aircraft are better equipped to fend off threats and protect carrier strike groups. They are now capable of engaging more targets simultaneously or consecutively, which increases their chances of survival in a hostile environment. But it's not just about firepower. The integration also enables the aircraft to carry out a variety of missions with greater flexibility. Whether it's an air superiority mission, a strike mission, or an electronic warfare mission, the Growlers and Super Hornets can adapt to the task at hand. They can switch roles in the blink of an eye, making them invaluable assets in any operation. This development also has strategic implications. In the face of escalating threats from Iranian-backed Houthi militants who have been launching drones and missiles at US and foreign vessels, the Navy's response has been swift and decisive. The integration of the AIM-9X is a clear statement that the Navy is prepared to counter these threats head-on. Moreover, this move is not just about the current crisis. It's also about anticipating future conflicts. Drone and missile threats are evolving, and the Navy is staying one step ahead by arming its aircraft with the latest weaponry. This proactive approach ensures that the Navy is ready to respond to any threat, anytime, anywhere. The AIM-9X integration serves as a reminder that the Navy is ever ready to respond to escalating threats, whether they be from Iranian-backed Houthi militants or various drone and missile threats. It's clear that this integration is not just about the present crisis, it's also about anticipating future conflicts. As we delve deeper into the 21st century, the nature of warfare continues to evolve. The integration of AIM-9X Sidewinders into the Navy's EA-18G Growlers and F-A-18E-F Super Hornets is a strategic move that looks far beyond the current crisis in the Red Sea region. This decision reflects a keen understanding of the changing dynamics in defense technology. 
The increased missile capacity doesn't just offer more firepower, it offers flexibility. This flexibility is key in a world where threats can emerge from any corner and in any form. From the insurgent launching drones to the state actor deploying advanced missile systems, these aircraft are now better equipped to respond effectively and decisively. The integration also underscores the role of air power in future conflicts. As the battleground shifts from land and sea to the skies and beyond, the ability to control the airspace becomes increasingly crucial. With their enhanced self-defense capabilities, these aircraft can now hold their own in hostile environments, ensuring that the Navy maintains control of the skies in any potential conflict. Moreover, this move speaks volumes about the Navy's commitment to adaptability. In an era of rapid technological advancements, standing still is not an option. The Navy has demonstrated its willingness to evolve, to integrate new technologies, and to constantly improve its defensive and offensive capabilities. By enabling these aircraft to carry additional AIM-9X Sidewinders, the Navy is not only addressing the threats of today, but also preparing for the uncertainties of tomorrow. It's a significant step forward in maintaining the balance of power and ensuring the safety and security of our forces. The AIM-9X integration on Growlers and Super Hornets underscores the Navy's commitment to maintaining a robust defense system capable of adapting to evolving threats. This integration is a clear statement. The Navy is prepared to face the future no matter what it may bring. In other exciting news, we're seeing a legend being resurrected. The B-1 Balancelot, a beast of the skies, is being brought back for active service. The B-1B Lancelot has a storied history, having served the U.S. Air Force with distinction in various missions since its inception. Known for its speed, range, and payload capabilities, this bomber has been a crucial component of the U.S. Air Force's strategic arsenal. Its resurrection is not merely an exercise in nostalgia, but a strategic decision aimed at bolstering the U.S. Air Force's capabilities. In a rapidly changing geopolitical landscape, the need for a versatile, long-range bomber like the B-1B Lancelot has become increasingly evident. The resurrection of this iconic aircraft is expected to significantly enhance the U.S. Air Force's strike capabilities, giving it an edge in potential future conflicts. This resurrection marks a significant moment in the history of the U.S. Air Force. It's not just about bringing back an old warhorse, but about revisiting proven strategies and capabilities in response to emerging threats and challenges. This move, much like the AIM-9X integration we discussed earlier, underscores the U.S. military's commitment to adaptability and preparedness no matter what the future may bring. Moving on, the B-1 Balancelot is not just being resurrected, it's being upgraded. As we dive into details, it's clear that the U.S. Air Force isn't just bringing back an old warhorse. They're enhancing it to meet the challenges of modern warfare. The B-1 Balancelot is getting a series of upgrades, most notably in its avionics and weapons systems. The aircraft will receive a fully integrated data link, FIDL, and a new advanced radar. These upgrades will significantly enhance the Lancelot's communication, navigation, surveillance-slash-air traffic management systems, CNS-ATM, increasing its operational effectiveness. The benefits of these upgrades are multifaceted. Improved avionics means better situational awareness for the crew, ensuring that they can respond swiftly and accurately in a rapidly changing combat environment. Enhanced weapon systems, on the other hand, will allow the Lancelot to carry a wider array of munitions including the latest precision-guided bombs. This increases the aircraft's versatility, making it a formidable force in a wide range of missions. The strategic importance of these upgrades cannot be overstated. In an increasingly contested geopolitical landscape, the need for advanced, versatile, long-range strike capabilities is greater than ever. The upgraded B-1 Balancelot will offer the U.S. Air Force a significant edge in potential future conflicts, much like the AIM-9X integration we discussed earlier. In conclusion, these upgrades ensure that the B-1 Balancelot is not just back, but better than ever. It's a testament to the U.S. military's commitment to adaptability and preparedness, ensuring that they remain at the cutting edge of modern warfare. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting development. But what does the resurrection of the B-1 Balancelot mean for future conflicts? This is the question we aim to answer in this segment. The B-1 Balancelot, armed with its new upgrades, has the potential to play a pivotal role in future conflicts. The strategic implications of the aircraft's resurrection and upgrades are far-reaching. 
With its enhanced avionics and weapon systems, the Lancelot is set to be a game-changer in the theater of modern warfare. Its improved communication, navigation, and surveillance systems will allow the U.S. Air Force to execute complex, high-stakes missions with greater precision and efficiency. Its ability to carry a wider array of munitions including the latest precision-guided bombs will make it a formidable adversary in a range of combat scenarios, from close air support to strategic bombing. Furthermore, the resurrection of the B-1 Balancelot signifies the U.S. Air Force's proactive approach in preparing for future threats. It's a clear indication of their commitment to maintaining a technological edge in an increasingly complex and uncertain geopolitical landscape. In essence, the B-1 Balancelot is set to play a crucial role in the U.S. Air Force's future operations. Its resurrection and upgrades are a testament to the U.S. military's adaptability, resilience and unwavering commitment to defending its interests. Stay with us as we wrap up this video with some final thoughts. That's it for the update on the B-1 Balancelot resurrection. Let's recap what we've discussed. The B-1 Balancelot, a symbol of U.S. air power, has been resurrected and upgraded with advanced avionics and weapon systems. This resurrection isn't just about bringing back a legendary aircraft. It's about ensuring the U.S. Air Force maintains a strategic advantage in an ever-evolving geopolitical landscape. The Lancelot is expected to play a significant role in future conflicts, thanks to its enhanced systems that allow for precise, efficient execution of high-stakes missions. Its capacity to carry a wider array of munitions, particularly precision-guided bombs, makes it a formidable adversary in any combat scenario. The B-1 Balancelot resurrection is a clear statement. The U.S. Air Force is prepared to face the future no matter what it may bring. Stay tuned as we wrap up this video with some final thoughts. That's it for today's update on the AIM-9X integration on Growlers and Super Hornets, and a brief look at the resurrection and upgrades of the B-1B Lancelot. We've explored how these enhancements allow both these aircrafts to carry additional firepower, significantly boosting their defensive options. The AIM-9X integration is a strategic response to escalating threats such as the drone and missile attacks by Iranian-backed Houthi militants. The B-1B Lancelot resurrection, on the other hand, signifies a leap in strategic bomber capabilities. Both these developments are crucial not just for the current crisis, but in anticipation of future conflicts against various drone and missile threats. They enhance self-defense capabilities and provide flexibility for carrier strike groups and other missions. But the conversation doesn't end here. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth updates on defense and geopolitics. Keep the conversation going and stay tuned for our next video.